Hello, Bayview, and warmest of greetings from the eastern shore of Maryland, and I really mean the warmest. I miss the cool evenings there, and I miss the sunsets, but we all know that we're living in different times, so I say we make the best of this virtual visit. Located here on the very popular thoroughfare Riverside Drive, this house was built in 1936. Bruce and I are the fourth owners and we've lived here for 13 years. There are Bayview-like gardens all around and no, I can't take credit for a single one of them. That's all Bruce's handiwork. I can take credit for some of the renovation on the inside, but I digress. How about you come on down the road with me a little bit where I'll introduce the first part of the program. I mentioned that I'm located on Riverside Drive and with global warming, one day there's a pretty good chance that I'll have waterfront property. But for now, I'm borrowing a friend's boat dock. It's great to have friends. We're here on the Wacomico River a 24 mile tributary to the Chesapeake Bay. Now, it's not the Little Traverse Bay, and it's not Lake Michigan, but it's lovely. And it's a great source of recreation for our folks here. I wanted to start on the river because our first few numbers have to do with being on the water. The characters singing are smitten with young ladies who are either swimming in the water or on the riverbank, and in one case, had lost something floating down the river. We hope you enjoy.
I want to welcome you to one of Salisbury's greatest treasures, the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art. It's home to some of the world's best carvings of birds of prey, waterfowl, and antique decoys. Now, if you're like me and hearing this for the first time, you're thinking, say what? I mean, it's difficult enough to even say the word wildfowl, much less thinking of carving them. And trust me, it's a really cool place and a place I'll take you when you come to visit me. And thinking of things that are really cool and treasures, let's now move to some treasures of the early music repertoire. Enjoy some music of John Dowland. Come again, sweet love doth now invite thy graces that refrain to do me due delight to see, to hear, to touch, to kiss, to die. Sympathy. To see, to hear, to touch, to kiss, to die with thee again in sweetest sympathy. Come again, that I may. I weep, I faint, I die in deadly pain and endless misery. I sit, I sigh, I weep, I faint, I die in deadly pain and endless misery. night my sleeps are full of dreams my eyes are full of streams my heart takes no delight to see the fruits and joys that some do find and mark the storms that are to me assigned to see the fruits and joys that some do find and mark the storms that are to me assigned. in despair 
shall be thus abused still, seeing that she will right thee never. If thou canst not overcome her will, thy love will be thus fruitless ever. Was I so base that I might not aspire? Unto those high joys which she holds from me. As they are high, so high is my desire. If she this deny, what can granted be? If she will yield to that which reason it is reason's will that love should be just. Dear, make me happy still by granting this, or cut off delays if that I die must. Better a thousand times to die than for to live still tormented dear but remember it was i who for thy sake did die contented better a thousand times to die than for to live thus still tormented dear but remember it was i who for thy sake did die contented This is the Wicomico County Courthouse. It was built in the 1870s, and it's a place of local and national significance. On this site, a marker honoring John H. Winder was recently removed. You might have heard about it. Winder, a Confederate general, was in charge of all of the prisons east of the Mississippi. Now there's debate about why the sign was even here because Winder was not even a Salisburyan. The sign also marked controversy because yards from here in 1931, there was a lynching of a black man named Matthew Williams. Mr. Williams was lynched in the most grotesque manner and the memories and wounds of that lynching still linger here in Salisbury. Now on a more prominent and positive note, Frederick Douglass was invited here in 1880 to give his highly regarded lecture, Self-Made Men. He gave it to a mixed audience, although segregated by aisle. He came to raise money for the John Wesley Church across the street, which I'll tell you about a little bit later. A note of irony, the week that the newspapers announced Douglas's arrival here was the same week they announced the death of his former owner. Brown baby, brown baby, as you grow up, I want you to drink from the plenty cup. I want you to stand up tall and proud. I want you to speak up clear and loud. Brown baby, brown baby, as years roll by, I want you to go with your head held high. I want you to live by the justice code. I want 
want you to walk down freedom's road, brown baby. Now lie away, lie away, sleeping. Lie. protect you and keep you safe from harm oh you little brown baby brown baby it makes me glad that you will have things that I've never had when out of men's hearts all the hate is heard you're gonna live in a better Wow, I'm here in the sanctuary of Asbury United Methodist Church. It's adjacent to the campus of Salisbury University where Danielle and I teach. I wanna tell you about a young man who I consider one of my brown babies, Mr. Jeremiah J. Copeland. When COVID hit and everything began shutting down, it was this grand and welcoming church community that really came through for our students. You see, they had been working all year long to be a part of the Nats competition. And when I say Nats, I want you to think NCAA tournament for voice. Well, that tournament suddenly went online. And it was this space where the students were safely able to make 56 videos in two days. That enabled them to keep competing and gave them something to look forward to during the shutdown. Well, I'm happy to report that seven of those students won at the regional level, five of them went on to be national semifinalists, and one young man, Mr. Jay Copeland, was the national winner of the Upper College Musical Theater category. He's one of our special babies. And we would like to show you his award-winning video. Lost in the Wilderness from Children of Eden by Stephen Schwartz. <laughs> I'm 
burning as we hit the ground Where our future lies according Where our hearts are outward bound To that bright and distant morning We may stop and look around and fail In the wilderness Finally we'll be I've heard Jeremiah sing that song a hundred times, and a hundred times I've said, wow, what a bright future ahead. He's the kind of talent we want in the vocal programs at Bayview, and hopefully we can get him there soon. I'm here now in front of the Chipman Cultural Center, formerly known as the John Wesley Church. It dates back to 1837 and was purchased by freedmen who had the intention of having a place for enslaved people to meet, worship, and go to school. It's also known as the Church on the Hill and is the oldest African Methodist Episcopal Church on the Delmarva Peninsula. But even before the structure was built, the enslaved people of Salisbury would meet behind here in the meadow to worship and sing. And they sang, among other things, spirituals and we today to honor them we do the same Lord I couldn't hear nobody pray couldn't hear nobody pray oh way down yonder by myself and I couldn't hear nobody pray Lord I couldn't hear nobody pray
Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child a long ways from home a long ways from home but I'm a true I'm a long ways from home. I'm a long ways from my Sometimes I feel like I'm almost gone. Sometimes I feel like I can't go on. Sometimes I feel like I'm Kingdom ain't a that good news. I'm a gonna lay down this world, gonna shoulder up my cross, gonna take it home to my Jesus. Ain't a that good news? I got a crown of being a that kingdom ain't a that good news. I got a crown up in a that kingdom, ain't a that good news. I'm a gonna lay down this world. I'm gonna shoulder up my cross. Gonna 
take it home to my Jesus, ain't that that good news? I got a robe of being of that kingdom, ain't of that good news? I got a robe of being of that kingdom, ain't of that good news? I'm a god lay down this world. I'm gonna shoulder up my cross Gonna take it home to my Jesus Ain't of that good news I got a crown of being of that kingdom Ain't of that good news I got a home of being of that kingdom Ain't of that good news It's been an absolute pleasure creating this program for you. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. You know, my friends and family are here. They're the ones who really made this possible. It's our friends, our family, and our faith that keep us strong during times like these. I want you to stay well and stay safe. 
And until we can meet again face to face, let us break bread together, in this case with local pizza, and drink wine together. Cheers. about a child that's been converted. He is one, he is one. Talk about a child that's been Thank you. 